this is the latest on space weather concerning the solar flare coming at us. We have a solar storm horror, sunblast likely to strike in hours in power grid threat. The solar storm could be headed straight for Earth, threatening power grid failures and major disruptions to satel satellites. The ultra-fast solar winds that were blasted out of the sun are darting towards us, our Earth, and could come into contact with its geomagnetic field. The U.S. National Oceanic Atmospheric Administration, NOAA, warned that the G1-class storm could cause power grid failures, disrupt satellites, and disrupt the migration of animals if this happens. While this has the potential to cause disruption, the incoming solar storm is in the lowest rank category in terms of its intensity, meaning it is considered a minor geomagnetic storm. Solar storms are ranked from G1 minor to G5 extreme, but even the minor storms threaten disruption when they come into contact with satellites. The NOAA has now warned that the geomagnetic storm is likely to strike today as a result of the gaseous material flowing from the southern hole in the sun's atmosphere. These coronal holes appear dark areas in extreme ultraviolet and X-ray Im images, and they are regions where the sun's plasma is cooler and less dense than that surrounding it because of the star's magnetic field, which extends into space as an open field. According to Space Weather, chance of Earth's directed flares, growing sunspot AR3068. It's uh, basically, as we look at the image on the uh, 5 o'clock position, has developed a beta-gamma magnetic field that harbors energy for M-class solar flares. Any explosion today will be geo-effective because the sunspot is almost directly facing our Earth. So what is an M-class flare? Now the solar flares of the explosion of the sun that happen when energy is stored in twisted magnetic fields, usually above sunspot, is suddenly released. Flares produce a burst of radiation across the electromagnetic spectrum from radio waves to X-rays and gamma rays. Scientists classify solar flares according to their X-ray brightness in the wavelength range 1 to 8 Armstrongs, and there are three categories. X-class flares are the big ones. They are major events that can trigger planet-wide radio blackouts and long-lasting radiation storms. M-class flare is the one they're talking about concerning this uh, solar storm. The M-class flares are medium-sized. They can cause brief radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions. Minor radiation storms sometimes follow an M-class flare compared to X and the M-class events. C-class flares are small with few noticeable consequences here on Earth. Now, uh, each category for X-ray flares has nine subdivisions ranging from, for example, C1 to C9, M1 to M9, X1 to X9, and it's a logarithmic scale. M1 is 10 times stronger than C1, X1 is 10 times stronger than M1, and so on. So uh, they're saying that uh, the... Uh, Developing, the sun is developing the beta gamma at uh, sunspot AR3068. And uh, the magnetic field there harbors energy for an M-class solar flare. Uh, medium size. Now, uh, it allows for rapid streams of solar wind to pour out of the sun and may reach Earth if the hole is facing ours. And in this case, it is uh, facing in our area. Okay. Any explosions today will be geoeffective because the sunspot is almost directly facing our Earth. So the sun is active, quite active in this solar uh, um, cycle. Uh, it's, uh, it seems like every two days we're getting a solar flare coming near us. So uh, the most extreme storms threaten to severely impact satellite operations and can spark blackout power grids and disrupt high-frequency radio communications for days. While solar storms are frequent events, these normally only occur around four times in every 11-year cycle. When Earth is in the solar cycle M-class, solar flares are also common. And this is where what we're having uh, most likely today. Now, these are huge explosions of the sun occur they, when the energy is stored in twisted magnetic fields, normally above sunspots, 
and is the released uh, uh, according to European uh, Space Agency website. M-class flares, considered medium size, and usually cause brief radio, brief radio blackouts that affect Earth's polar regions, the website says. And sometimes minor radiation storms will come after the M-class flares, as we said. According to experts of space weather, an M-class flare could be on, our, on the way to us. And they warned growing sunspot AR3068 has developed a beta-gamma magnetic field that harbors energy for M-class solar flares. Any explosions today will be geoeffective because the sunspot is almost directly facing our Earth. But according to the Met Office, these are nothing to worry about. It explains that this magnitude of flare is common for the Earth to experience in this part of the sun's solar cycle. Any potential impacts would likely be fairly minor and short-lived. And I'll leave links below for you for this on Space Weather and Express UK by Paul, uh, Jacob Paul. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.